What is happening, BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of the Day, number 10. What are we chasing today? Something super limited release from Okanagan Spirits, the El Padre for Father's Day, which was a couple of weeks ago. But um, it's a double wood Don Julio 1942 finish, which is just mental because 1942 is so hard to get. So it's their Bur Okanagan Spirits bourbon style whiskey, a high corn content, um, finished for about three to five years. I think it's closer to five years nowadays, and then finished in the Don Julio 1942 barrels. So they inoculate uh, a barrel with 1942, give it a couple of weeks, and then away we go. I'm really looking forward to this one. I've had a few tequila finished whiskeys, and it's a hard one because tequila is, I find personally, Reposados and Blancos are very delicate, fragrant, aromatic, and then the whiskey just comes through and just barrels through. Um, so I've tried a few, and I'm just like, I could take it or leave it. About bottled at 42%. It's a little bit high. High notes of that tequila, for sure. Yeah, the bourbon and the tequila are like dancing. They're not punching each other up or anything like that. They're just dancing. It's nice. Oh, on the palate though. You get the vanillas from the bourbon. You get this this deep oak notes from the 1942. Oh, this is very interesting, very complex. I mean, I'm, this is very interesting because the bourbon and the, and the tequila are definitely just playing like back and forth. Very unique. The tequila's actually dried this out quite a lot. Oh, but that sweet vanilla is still there. Tingles of cinnamon and nutmeg on the palate. But it is, it's just a perfect melding, like absolutely immaculate. A little bit dry there, 42%, definitely that 2% alcohol up on that bourbon blend. Definitely works on this one. Nice and dry finish. The tequila comes in strong. The bourbon's still there. These guys are dancing perfectly together. What a delicious little number. Much drier than the classic bourbon from um, from Okanagan Spirits. So that tequila has just come through really nicely. This is one of one, one of my favorite little tequila finished whiskeys that I've had in a while. The El Padre, Spirit of the Week number 10. See you guys soon. Thanks always for the support. Bye.